Now it's time to start laying some cloth in. I'll go ahead and start with this side since I have it here. start at the tail. It's just where I where I prefer to start. And I work forward. Some guys do middle out. It's just what you're comfortable with. Now I'm getting this, this is not even starting to get thick and once I get it in the thin film I have about eight hours to work with it. Of course the longer it sits in the pot that reduces your thin film time but we're going to get this fuselage done in less than three hours. Video won't be three hours long but it'll take me three to four hours to complete this fuselage. You have to be careful when you're putting this 1.4 ounce cloth in where you put the filler. You can't deform the filler too much. So you have to have a gentle hand. The big thing is, is getting the uh, cloth down on the mold and just getting it wet enough on the filler till you put the 6 ounce cloth in. Six ounce cloth will not uh, deform the filler very much. <clears throat> I missed one spot with the filler while I was putting the filler in. That happens. And that is the landing gear blocks. So I'm going to take one of my filler syringes. I'm just going to pull the cloth back. Put my filler around the landing gear pad. <clears throat> now I'm almost out of resin from that first batch. You can wipe this out really wet on the 1.4 ounce because it's going to take a lot more resin to wet out the 6 ounce anyway. So you don't even have to be careful about how much resin you use on this 1.4 ounce layer. The big thing is just getting it wet, keeping your filler in place. Alright, I have another batch of epoxy mixed. And I answered an email. I'm real careful about just forming the filler in the wing saddle area because once you get it out of place it's hard to get it back in shape so I only really try to get it in place. Now I'll take a layer of 6 ounce cloth Lay it in place. I can be a lot more aggressive with the uh, with the filler in the six ounce cloth because it'll just kind of mold it. Squish it in the shape, which I've got to hurry up because I've been going for 30 minutes now. 
that filler had a pot life of 50 minutes. I've got to get that other half in the thin film before that filler starts setting up on me. So I have to hustle, even though I'm using this longer hardener. So I'm moving on out. Once you've got that 1.4 ounce cloth wet, it helps wet the 6 ounce, but you have to be careful on the back half about loading up too much resin because you can't get it out once you get it in. On the front half we have a doubler that's going to soak up some resin, but you kind of have to be careful. And I got a little wet back here. So I'm going Soak up some, move that resin up front. And the way you do that is basically just pat it out, let the brush absorb it, and move that resin to a different place. It's surprising how much resin you can draw out with the brush. Nonetheless, it's better to not to get too much in the first place. I just got a little too aggressive. Thing is, we don't have to get all the bubbles out right now because basically I just have to get it into into reasonable shape because when I trim it, it's going to pull it anyway. And I'm going to have to work the bubbles out before I join it. I've got to have it in reasonable shape, but I don't have to have it perfect now. And it's okay for these bubbles to be along the edge because, like I said, I've got to come back and trim this after I trim it. But see, I already got this wetted out. And I'm going to wait on the doubler until I've got the other half wetted out because I've got to get that filler into shape before it starts to set up. <clears throat> so there's the first half with, with the first two layers of cloth. I'm not going to bother to trim it yet. Biggest thing is to get this cloth into this side. Once again, I forgot the landing gear block. When you make a bunch of different fuselages, each one's got its own little things, and unless you're making them on a daily basis, it's easy to forget the quirks of each little, of each mold. So I'm going to turn off the lights and we'll come back when I put the doublers in and then we'll do the joining, the, the trim and the join.